Yo, what's good YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And with this new interface that MLB The Show came out with, it's a cool way to see like how games go when you simulate them. So let's just simulate this game. It looks like well, they beat us once again. This time we had 10 hits, there are five hits and they still won. And it looks like Addison Russell is a player of the game. I wonder if there's a way to see full stats. I don't know if there is really, I'm not really sure. So let's just advance the day and then sim this next game as well. We have Adam Conley on the mound going up against John Lester. We're gonna play the last game in this series. So let's simulate this one and look at this. We are on our way to getting swept here. Another loss for us. John Lester has eight strikeouts. So we're gonna play this last game and <laughs> you Darvish is their number four. I mean, they gotta have some type of rotation if you Darvish is their number four. So let's get going with this last game of this first series of the uh, season. And Sandy Alcantara is on the mound. And you know he's a guy that we're super excited about because he's a B potential prospect. He's number three, actually, in our farm system. And he's probably going to be the future of our rotation. I mean, him and Urena, I want to see if they can end up being a one and two maybe. I don't really know. I mean, they kind of got a lot of room to grow, especially Alcantara. But we'll see how he does versus one of the top teams in the NL. But here he is in the second inning, getting in trouble after striking out three guys in the first inning. And here he is giving up a bloop hit. Cameron Maben can't get to that one in center field. So now with a guy on with guys on first and second, the pitcher comes up to the plate. You Darvish tries to bunt him over and almost we almost turn the double play, but with two outs, he gets Jason Hayward to swing and miss at an outside fastball. His fastball is looking good in this game, but on to the third inning. Javier Baez is going to come up and he's gonna blast one over the wall in right center field. And Javier Baez just like that is going to give the Cubs a one nothing lead going into uh, the bottom of the third inning. Now we're on to the fifth inning, and here is Derek Dietrich getting the hit up the middle, and next up is Rojas, and you know he's got good contact, but this time he hits a little dribbler to the third baseman, but he beats out the double play, so luckily saving an out that time, but Sandy Alcantara comes up, and Chris Bryant... Bruh. Makes a great diving effort at that one and catches the bunt. And now we're faced with two outs here in the fifth inning. You Darvish walks Lewis Brinson. So leaves Starlin Castro at the plate. And you know he had a pretty good first game. And he can't get it done this time. Popping out to center field. So now we're on to the sixth inning. And Sandy Alcantara is continuing his great game pitching that time. Striking out two guys this time. Contreras is swinging and missing. So now we're on to the bottom of the seventh inning. And here's Derek Dietrich getting a hit to right center gap. And the center field is going to feel that one. But Derek Dietrich is on his horse and he slides in second for the leadoff double here in the bottom of the seventh. So we bring in Cameron Maben to pinch it. We did, did give him the day off. But here he is getting a nice pitch to hit and another hit this time to right center. And that right center gap is being good to us this game. And we drive in a late run this time to tie this game up at one in the bottom of the seventh inning. But, I mean, look at that. Perfect hitting on that one. Cameron Maben, he's a great leadoff hitter for us. I mean, he gets on base, rarely strikes out. But here is Starling Castro trying to drive him in but he strikes out on the high heat. So now we're on to the bottom of the ninth inning. This time Martin Prado was up to lead off the inning, and this one's going to get by the first baseman that time, and Martin Prado is going to be on first to start out the bottom of the ninth, and we bring in JT Riddle, and we have to bring in somebody with a little more speed, somebody that can actually play third base as well. But uh, we do get like a little sacrifice. I don't know if that was really a bunt. You can't consider that a bunt, but still, it's something close to it. But look at what happens next. Chris Bryant cannot handle that one. And Johnny Giviotella is going to come up, but he's going to swing at one in the dirt. So now two outs. We need a base hit from Lewis Brinson. Mr. Clutch. 
but he can't get it done. He grounds out to the second base, and that is going to be it for the first nine innings. We're going on to extras, so now here in extra innings. Around first, he's digging for second. JT Riddle with the liner down the left field line, and that brings up an opportunity for Derek Dietrich to get his shine on. The odds there. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone! Game over! Derek Dietrich with the walk off. Who saw that coming? Derek Dietrich in this first series. I mean, that was kind of tough. I mean, that was a game where we kind of got hits, but it was spread out throughout the game. But Derek Dietrich comes through in the clutch and brings home the W, avoiding the sweep for the Marlins. And the Cubs go home with a loss and eight hits to their nine. But we come through in the clutch. It took 11 innings to win this one. But Miami comes out on top. Sammy Al or Sandy Alcantara has a pretty good game. And now we have Despagne on the mound for this second series going up against Boston. And here is uh, the leadoff hitter getting a hit up the middle. And that's our problem, man. We give up too many hits early in the game. And it comes back to bite us late when we have to play catch up because our team isn't hitting the ball very well at this moment. But Despagne at least gets Hanley Ramirez this time to ground into the double play. So now moving on to the bottom of the first inning, we're facing Rick Porcello. And he was a decent pitcher last year. He didn't have the record. His whip was okay, 1-4-0. But we're going to be looking to score some runs early on in this game. But Porcello walks Derek Dietrich at the top of the lineup here to start this game. And now we got a runner on first base. One out, and Lewis Brinson, I like what he does in the three spot, and here he is getting a hit up the middle. So now, guys, on first and second, Justin Bohr's going to hit a hard one, but this time a great play by Dustin Pedroia. He's going to come up with the double play ball, and uh, like I said, we we're going to try to score early, but Justin Bohr's actually been on, I mean, it's only four games into the season. You can't say it's really a slump, but he's been off to a pretty slow start. But here is Mookie Betts here in the fourth inning getting the hit down the line on a 2-2 count. So now with two outs, Despagne's got to get us out of this inning. And he does get Dustin Pedroia to hit one to center field, and that one's going to be lying straight to Cameron Mabin. And we're going to get out of this inning, not surrendering any runs. But now on to the top of the sixth inning. Here is Despagne still in the game, this time giving up a hit past Justin Bohr's glove. And now they got a runner on first. Swiping a bag on that one, getting to second base, but they come up with a pop up for the next batter. So now Despagne needs one more uh, out after that pop up by JD Martinez, and he gets just that flying out to Cameron Mabin in center. And here we go, man. We got to make our move late in this game. We've only had three hits up to this point. So Martin Prado, the veteran, comes up to bat, and he starts it off with a walk here in the seventh inning. And oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And Eduardo Nunez cannot handle that one at third base. So now we got a man on first and second, and JT Riddle can't hit the inside slider on that one. So now Rojas comes up to bat, hits a weak liner to Hanley Ramirez at first base. So now two outs here in the, in the seventh. And Starlin Castro, who did get the day off, bringing him in to pinch hit. And he gets a nice pitch to hit, a curveball, and he bloops it up to right center. And that one's going to drop, and Mookie Betts can't get to that one. One runner's going to score. Two guys are going to score, and that's going to be a 2-0 lead here for the Boston Red Sox for the Miami Marlins. I'm confusing myself. Look at that. Boston cannot play defense on that one. I don't know what Mookie Betts was doing, but, <laughs> I mean, he straight up just misjudged it, I guess. But we, they do eventually get out of the inning. So now 
Moving on to the bottom of the ninth here, we got Bear Claw coming in for the save. And the one thing about Bear Claw is it's hard to control. I play with pulse pitching, it's pretty hard to control Bear Claw, but he does get the first batter to strike out. Next up gets the next guy to ground out to third base. So now with one out left, we could potentially be on our first winning streak of the season. And we do just that, popping out to Cameron Mabin. And that's going to be game. The Spagne pitches a great game in this one. Doesn't give up many hits. Only gives up six hits. Doesn't strike out a lot of guys, though. Only three guys struck out versus him but he does a great game seven innings pitched and what a what a nice game i mean that was just like a nice defensive game by us i mean we didn't make any errors well it says we made one but i wouldn't count the one that they counted us as as an error but it was just a pop up a texas leaguer missed by cameron maven but we do escape with the win so now our first win streak of the season so you don't want to miss any action coming up. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're just getting this season started. We got to make some moves, so let's get it. Let's go.